वेलकम बैक इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अ स्टूडेंट मार्क्स मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम विच वी हैव क्रिएटेड यूजिंग दी गूगल शीट एंड वेब एप क्रिएट सो इन दिस अ यूजर और एडमिन और ए टीचर कैन लॉग इन एंड स्टूडेंट चेक दियर रिजल्ट सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दी कंप्लीट फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ आवर स्टूडेंट मार्क्स मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम so you can see here this is a google sheet and we have a login sheet child sheet which is and we have some demo data as per youtube policy we are using the demo data so you can see here this is a teacher role and this is a admin user admin role so first i will going to show you a teacher role so you can see here i just copy the teacher and paste it here is username and now i just copy that demo password and paste it here and click on this login so when i click on this login as of now you can able to see here the user or the teacher is being successfully logged in here so this is a teacher username and that's the teacher one and this these two classes are allocated to this particular teacher and this subjects allocated to the teacher okay now you can able to see here the filter student teacher cannot able to select the drop down because we are, we are logged in as a teacher one so we make it constant teacher here okay so teacher can have access of these two particular class how you can add a class so whenever you go in your data so in our data you can see here we also use the demo data so this is a class so if you need a one more class like for example a uh, class 20 so this will be now a class the class 20 and you just copy this particular class okay and go to your login data and you can add simply here the class 20 so now this particular user will get the three classes in their access system so as of now you can able to see it's not login because we first need to log out that particular system because our session is stored here because we are using the session storage now again we will copy this username and password and paste it here to log in so as of now you can able to see here this is a password and paste it here and click on this sign so as of now you can able to see here we are successfully being logged in as and now this particular class is being added for this teacher okay now they will select a class and select a subject and click on this uh, search fetching the students so in the data you can able to see here this is a mathematics subjects so this will be the come here so now if you want to add a if you want to add a, or update the numbers you can simply make it 80 and click on this save changes so when you click on this save changes your data is going to be saved successfully and now it's being the 80 so you can see here it's being updated successfully now this is a student id so in this way a student can easily select a class select a subject and their students will be filtered of that particular subject and they can enter the marks for their student so that's all the teacher related things now we will go to the admin section i just log out here log out this web application and you can see here the login screen in front of me so i will show you now the check student result feature so you can see here this is a user we have uh, recently we have edited this student i just copy this student and come here and paste it here and click on this search student id so when i click on this search student id as of now you can able to see here this student only have one subject so you can see here this is a test 1 test 2 the written quiz the oral quiz marks the research marks the average marks the composition and the grade the grade will be calculated automatically on the basis of their criteria so if you want to make a print of this academic report card you can simply click on this print or you can get this kind of report card print on a4 paper so you can simply close them now we will go to the admin section so in the admin section you can come here and paste the admin and password and click on this login so when you click on this login as of now you can able to see here this is a admin portal so one thing you will uh, notice that admin have access to all classes and all the subjects so you can see here this is a teacher filters so 
so admin can easily select any any teacher and any class and any subject from here and click on this fetch students so what how much students will be applied in this filter they will be shown below so as of now you can able to see here these particular student 14 15 16 17 18 19 these are the students their data will be shown in these particular filters so admin can easily update their data okay so you can see here if we going to change it here 87 okay now we click on this save changes so when we click on the save changes so these marks will be added out the successfully so now the student management things so if you want to add a student you can simply add a student for example i will give him a 4001 okay name i will give him uh, like you can see here uh, the student name is ali khan i will use the class i will use the class uh, 40 for let's take example the class 40 subject i will use the cs and teacher i will use the ramis okay and click on this save so when i click on this save as of now your you will see here your data is going to be saved out successfully and now it will be shown here in the student list okay so 4001 okay i will check out in the database it have been added or not yet so you can see here it have been added successfully 4001 we just need to refresh our web application and uh, you will select you will see here this is a teacher ramis and we will select a class 40 and we will select a cs and click on this uh, fetch students so when i click on this fetch students as of now you can able to see here i will only able to get one particular student but i have i am uh, recently in the student management i search the teacher name but i need to search out the student name there okay that's our uh, thing so you can see here these are all the empty right now so for example they give a test one they will go uh, the 87 marks in the test two 98 marks the 41 marks and the oral quiz will be get the 76 marks the search will be get the 78 marks and the average is 76 and the composition is 99 and when you click on this save changes so your data is going to be saved out successfully in our database now what you need to do you just simply click on this logout and when you click on this logout as of now you can able to see a check student result enter the student id which we have created recently and click on this search student id so when you click on this search student id so as of now you can able to see here the academic report of that particular student which we have added recently and the total one subject found for this particular student okay i will close them and uh, i will get this uh, 1001 uh, in the mathematics and 1001 in the physics okay uh, in the english i will also use 1001 okay in the history class i will also use 1001 in the chemistry i will also use 1001 and uh, same in the biology i will use 1001 now i just click on this uh, check student result i need to refresh the web application okay and click on this search student result and enter the student id and click on this search result so all the subjects which are related to this particular student id you can see here the result of this particular student and if you click on this print section so you will get a print of the academic report card like this so hope so you like this video you like this concept if you have any idea you can share in the uh, in the comment section please like and subscribe our channel thank you very much